ومن هم من يستمعون اليك ناو دوز پیپل ار ڈسکسڈ who are denying the quran who are belying the quran knowingly that is the book of allah wa minhum may yastami'una ilayka they are all among them who listen to you very attentively wa minhum may yastami'una ilayka and among them are their people who listen to you very attentively o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam apparently afanta tusmi'u summa walau kanu la yaqilun But can you make the deaf hear? You can't do it. They are deaf actually. They are only apparently listening. But there are, the, 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 the hearts have been sealed. Although they might not be understanding it. And there are among them who look at you. But can you guide the blind people? they are not actually they are not seeing they appear to be seeing but they are blind the, the heart the, the seal has already been put on their hearts wala kanu la yubsirun and although they might not be seeing in la la yazlimu an-nas shay'an but don't think you know this condition of their it is not from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is due to their own obstinacy they recognize the truth and then they rejected it So actually, this is the, as I told you, a term of physiology. This use atrophy. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala had given them the faculty of understanding, but when you know, they knew it, they recognized it, and then rejected it. So that faculty became less and less and less and less, and a time came when it reached that point of no return. That faculty now no more exists now. So this is not. any you know zulm from allah subhanahu wa taala in la la yaslimun nas shay wa lakin an nas anfus anfusum yaslimu actually these are the people who are doing wrong to themselves allah doesn't do, do wrong to anybody else anybody wa yawm yahshuruhum kalam yalbasu illa sa'atan min an nahar yata'arafuna bainahum and the day on which we shall gather them all they will feel as if they had not stayed in the world and in the graves also but only for an hour of the day this is how we shall feel when we will be resurrected you know and we can have the experience now i am 60 years old 60 this is the 64th year of my life but you know the events of childhood appear to be as if they were today the yesterday all this distance you know and all this it goes off so they wouldn't feel that they lived in the world or in the graves but except for an hour of the day ya ta'arafuna bainahum and they will only recognize each other oh this is the person so they will recognize qad khasar alladhina kazzabu bi laqa'illah people who disbelieved the meeting with their lord with allah this is the fourth time لقاء الله لا يرجون لقاءنا three times last night we read it and I told you this is the key word of this surah قد خسر الذين كذبوا those who denied meeting with us they have put themselves already into the loss وما كانوا مهتدين and they are not going to be guided to the right path نیشنس exterminated finished destroyed so these the same was the threatening that was coming to them through quran but now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa imma nuriyanna ka ba'd alladhi da'iduhum this is also possible that we see so we show you some of the things which we are promising them 
in within your lifetime that end might come and this is also possible that we possess you make you to die then to us is their return and then Allah is seeing what they are doing he is the witness over whatever they are doing very important I told you there are other ayat also in the Quran to the same effect and now note here for every community we sent a messenger and when their messengers came to them well their case was decided but with justice and they were not wronged. And they say, when will this promise be fulfilled? When will the punishment come? Well, you know, I've been listening. Punishment will come. Chastisement will come. Torment will come. Oh, we have, we are fed up of listening and hearing. It's, you know, more than 10 years that we have been hearing all that. If you are true, O Muslims, when this, this torment will come, when this promise will be fulfilled, tell them, I don't possess, I don't have power for my own self even, for any Thing which is hurt, which which might hurt, or anything which may be profitable. I have no power. Illa mashaAllah, except what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees. Le kulle ummatin ajal, the other part of the law. And for every community, a fixed time period, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed from the very beginning. When that appointed time will come, they will not be able to postpone it for even an hour. But it cannot be advanced also. Even if you demand, even if I like, even if the Muslims like, well the time has fixed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It has been fixed. It will come on its time. Even if I want, it won't come earlier. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has fixed a period for every community. Say to them, have you ever considered if that punishment comes over you suddenly, during the night or during the day. What good will it be for, for which they are hastening? It will be azab. It will be torment. It will be punishment. Why do you want that it should come soon? You should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is giving you respite. Maybe during this time some of you come to believe. Some of you see the light. And they then are included in those who will be saved. Is it that when it has happened and occurred, then you will believe in it? Then it will be of no use. And then it will be said, Oh what? Now you want to believe. And you were hastening for it. You were demanding it. That it should come early. But after that comes, you know, then believing is of no use, is of no avail. Summa qila lil lazina zalamu zuku azab al khuld. Now this was the torment of this dunya, this world. That to any community to whom the messenger was sent and they rejected him. Most of them. But you know what happened at Makkah? There were a sizable number of people who accepted Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They migrated with him. Then there were others who had accepted him but couldn't migrate. 
So the conditions in Makkah were different. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, their case is going to be a diff bit different, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you must note. Because their case is not the case like the case of Nuh, the people of Nuh or the people of Hud. They almost en masse rejected their messengers. This is not the case. This ayah we had already read, ayah number 46. So actually it was a different case with the people of Makkah. But you know what has been discussed in ayah 51, that is the torment of this world. Now the real torment and real punishment and real chastisement is to come in the hereafter. Then it will be said to these people, these evil doers, now taste this lasting chastisement, this lasting punishment, this lasting torment. You are not being rewarded or recompensed, but for what you had been earning. <laughs>